Alright, so after having so much fun with the sword fist yesterday, I decided I'll do another one where I go kind of all in on the sword fish. And as you can obviously tell, this is sped up by 50%. For some reason, this video was going to be like 15 minutes long, and I was like, what? No way someone wants to watch that much of this, right? Uh, plus, I'll just, I won't have anything to talk about after 15 minutes, you know? I can pretty much summarize everything I want to say down to like, a solid five minutes and then the other five minutes I just have to fill in with us and stuff like that but yeah so early panda is kind of an interesting one don't get a lot of early tier twos but I got the otter start so decided that was gonna be worth it and then went ahead and put a croissant on the panda that's some nice little scaling and then rolled double goldfish which is perfect I really do like the goldfish quite a bit even though it's not as OP as I think it is I think it's just like overall solid gold efficiency. Um, most of the time, if you can actually use it, then you'll get two gold or like four gold discount, which is pretty nice. But that doesn't happen every time. It kind of sucks to have something frozen, or it's kind of difficult to have something frozen every single turn, and you're kind of wasting some shop space when you do that. But it, uh, I think it's still kind of worth it. And obviously, you can just sell it whenever you want to. So, got the Flamingo Pill, Early Giraffe, oh wait, no, that wasn't Early Giraffe, that was just a Sparkly Giraffe because of the Goldfish. It feels so efficient, and I got Early Lynx, which is also a pretty good thing to get early. Just gonna deal a solid 6 damage to something that's pretty significant on turn 5. Probably gonna kill it, whatever it is. And I killed their Frilled Dragon, which was their strongest unit, and what their entire team was based off of. So, really lucky snipe there. Uh, freezing that blobfish, hoping to find a pill, and probably I can buy one thing, just bought the giraffe. Wow! And look at that roll. Three blobfish. That's an instant level two, which means I can, like, get an instant level two anything. I could keep the blobfish on the team for a really long time, and then just get, like, an instant level two whatever it is I want. Um, but probably not gonna do that. I also get an early level up, which is a zebra. Not too bad, but getting that level 2 panda is actually really imperative. It's a good word right there. Because at level 1, the panda is just extremely inefficient. And I was surprised I even last as long as I did with the level 1 panda. But this level 2 panda is giving some serious stats. And we have a 28-26 on whatever turn this is. That is, That was turn 7? Yeah, that's pretty high stats for turn 7. So you can see the goldfish was kind of wasted there. Interesting fun fact about the level 3 goldfish is that it just gives you 2 gold a turn if you have the shop space to buy, sell, whatever it is. Because it's free and then you get 1 gold back, so that's a nice little addition with the level 3 goldfish. Uh, I'm going to lose that round, surprisingly. I mean, my team is a 1 unit squad, so it is possible to lose. I went with level 2 lobster, which is an interesting decision. Lobster is pretty strong now. It's uh, It gives the same stats as a turkey, and it makes pivoting real easy, but um, it's, uh, it's not like it's going to stick around and it's going to fall off pretty quickly. I'm surprised I even did that on turn 9. It feels like it's a little late to invest so much into lobster, but I guess I was planning on pivoting quite a bit of my team. And you can see, wait, what are the stats? It's 1220 that becomes uh, 3437. That is some really high stats. Uh, and then the sauropod actually works with the milk from the cow, so that's very helpful. And getting even more gold back, taking a hamster, sure, just getting the two re-rolls, and then I can just sell it and get my money back, pretty much. I, it's completely pointless, but oh well. <laughs> um, might actually keep it on the team since it has decent stats. Decide to take a blobfish instead. So I did make some minor adjustments. I added chicken and lioness to this pack because I figured if possible, I would like to get some, some stats on the shop things. And then I can just put the swordfish in at any time with the really high stats. And that was kind of the plan. Man, the stats on that sauropod are nasty. <laughs> it comes down to a draw though, very close round. Yeah, so that was kind of my plan. I'm going to invest in probably Lioness if I can find one. And then uh, I just took that because it was one gold. Why not? 
and thinking about selling the goldfish instead. No, I do sell the goldfish, okay. And I could even buy a sushi there instead, just decide to roll. Looking for chocolate or another blobfish so I can just instantly get that level two. There's the alpaca. Alpaca, I think, just makes things so much more fun if you can actually get them. The problem is, of course, it's a tier six. So you have to make sure you don't actually win too many of the early rounds. I don't know if you could even tell that I was trying to position more for draws and stuff like that, but I've been just really focusing on trying not to win the early rounds too much, so I have as much time as possible in the late rounds to get the alpaca to level 2, and then start re-rolling like crazy for whatever unit that I want. And there we go, level 2 alpaca is just, it's so busted, man. <laughs> you can buy, sell things for 1 gold, get that instant level 2, get those tier 6s, Man, it's so good. Like that zebra, you buy sell that zebra for plus eight plus eight for one gold. That's how efficient level two alpaca is. And I'm just buying some cans. Oh yeah, I, I don't think cat was in the pack previously, but again for shop scaling, that's why the cat's in here. And a draw. All right, not too bad. Just gives me, actually that's perfect. What I want is draws because it just gives me more time. And there we go. I sold my best unit, that panda, which it really got me through that mid game. I just decided, goodbye. I'm sorry. Thank you for existing. Uh, I should probably buy some food first because I have so many triggers. Yeah, okay, there we go. Buy that sushi. I'm gaining four gold back from that, which is so amazing. Then combining the sauropod so I can get the alpaca trigger. Buying the sushi, get three gold back. Buying the fried shrimp, getting three gold back. And I'm just freezing a bunch of things. Buying the can, getting three gold back. The level three sauropod just, it's uh, so fun and it's so good. It's pretty rare that you actually see it, but the alpaca just makes like so many things possible. And then I'm not really sure what to do with my last three gold, so I just buy a sushi. It is a level two cat, so that's pretty good stats. Um, the thing is, like, the shop swordfish, if I can find another one, are probably going to be higher stats than what's already on the board, but that's okay. And you can see the sacrifices that the swordfish are going through, but it's, uh, the fact that it triggers their largest unit really makes the swordfish actually viable and a good unit, I think. Well, not good, but, like, playable. Like, you can see, this is custom packs, so there are some strong teams. And it is turn 14, but my team is looking pretty nasty. And there's another sauropod, tiger. I have actually never even tried this, but you can put a tiger behind a swordfish, and that will work out pretty well. And then gaining that gold back. Uh, trying to decide what to do here. Just put a tiger in, and then I have three gold left. Probably just take... Oh, okay. Wow, that's a little surprising. And taking a lioness. That's plus two, plus two for the shot. Plus, it's a 36-21. You can see that the cans are really affecting the stats. Obviously, much more uh, favored in attack. But pff, what just happened? I just destroyed their team. I'm doing so much damage to some of the strongest units. 100 damage to the strongest, then 84 to the next strongest, and then 36 to the next. And the crazy thing about Tiger Swordfish is that the Tiger doesn't actually kill itself. It just makes it so that it's like the swordfish does its ability twice and you get to keep your unit. It's so good. It makes like, uh, I don't know. I'm surprised I haven't seen this done before. Maybe someone has done it, but tiger swordfish really feels like it has some potential to be good. And it's a very fun thing to do. You suicide your strongest unit, but to kill their two strongest units, definitely worth it. And then you can see the other swordfish is also doing some work. So killing their three strongest units, it's just, it's so much fun. And uh, ideally, so my original idea for this run was to get five swordfish, but, you know, parrots, tigers, whatever it will do to replace them. Um, thought about grabbing another can here. It would be plus four attack, but I figured... I, I'm close enough to 50 already. I don't need it. And then the popcorn. So, of course, if you have five swordfish, it's all going to just be a draw. But if you have one popcorn unit there, then you can just win because that will spawn. And that will be the difference. But, yeah, we're just looking for another swordfish here or a parrot. And I actually, there's a parrot right there. And I'm on nine wins. So this could be the final one. Just taking a 
taco there. And yeah, so nine wins. I kind of wanted to lose this round, but it seems highly unlikely since this team has five swordfish. So you can imagine what happens here. I even unfast forward and complete destruction. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Just the tiger left standing and the popcorn unit. Don't need the popcorn with the tiger, but man, that is beautiful. Just a lovely team that's a lot of fun. I'm pretty happy with how that went. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.